I'm Eric Eversole with the Libertas Project, and we're here outside Great American Ballpark where we're hoping the Reds don't lose to the Phillies today to ask people what are their rights. All right, Josh, so one of the first questions I have for you is what is a right? A right is something that we are allowed to do by law. Well, I think there's two kinds of rights. There are innate human rights that come to everybody the moment you're born, and then there are political, governmental societal rights that come to you based on the country you're living in and the laws of that country. A right is something that you can do given to you by God and or your government. A right is something um, I think that you're born with. Actually, you have a right to freedom. Um, it's something that's kind of naturally uh, given to you. I say a right. I don't know. It's just giving me I can do whatever I want, right? Okay. The second question I have is, uh, where do your rights come from? Well, ultimately, my faith is based on the Bible, uh, even the Bill of Rights, which is the Constitution. It's based on a biblical law, biblical statutes. So uh, that's that's what I stand on. Rights. Um, <laughs> where do rights come from? I don't know. Um, I guess. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I believe rights are natural rights. They come through nature, they come through God, they belong to us, you know, it's just part of being who we are. And they're not issued by governments, they're part of being. They not, have nothing to do with a government or an institution. Well, officially, officially it comes from the government, but my rights come from myself. My rights as a human being, I believe they come from uh, uh, just a... Uh, the American rights, you know, that it was started with our forefathers, you know, Benjamin Franklin, uh, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, you know, that wrote, wrote the uh, Gettysburg Address and such, you know. What they put in those constitutions, I, I really think it was misinterpreted, misled, and, and uh, not the way that it was intended to, to, to carry out, you know. It's supposed to be the Constitution, but depending on who you talk to, it might come from the president, it might come from your moms, it might come from your pops. And then the third question is, can those rights be taken away from you? Well, I think obviously they can be. You don't, all you have to do is look around the world and see that people take them away from other people all the time. I think the more proper question should be, should they be taken away? And that's a different question. But certainly they can be, because they are. Well, if you allow them to, I think so. It's all in the mind, maybe. I mean, in my opinion, it's all in the mind. Sure. sure. Can it be taken away from you? I think we've been shown that by our government. Yes, the government can take rights away. Okay. But the but your God-given rights are still there. Of course. Absolutely. They shouldn't be. Right. They shouldn't be. Ain't it supposed to be freedom? You can take away absolutely. Um, and that's it, it's, it's very important that we don't allow that to occur. That we challenge our government, our duty is to challenge our government when it comes to rights. And the rights are for the people, not for the government.